Austin sees a few nonstop flights from Fort Lauderdale every day. Three flights have been canceled now. Another to Fort Lauderdale was diverted, but one flight bound for Austin took off just before the shooting started. And KXAN's Alicia Inns talked to pas passengers. She joins us live now inside of ABIA. Outside, rather, Alicia. Well, first things first, Shannon, I talked to ABIA and they say that there are no security changes in place after the shooting at Fort Lauderdale. They say there's plenty of layers here already when it comes to APD officers as well as security on site here at the airport as well. There was a flight that landed about 2 o'clock today at the airport here from Fort Lauderdale to Austin. I talked with a few passengers. They are just in shock. Their flight left mere moments before this shooting happened. One of those passengers is named Suzanne Carrick. They left about 30 minutes before the shooter reportedly opened fire. And when they finally arrived in Dallas before coming here to Austin, that's when she turned on her phone to a frightened text message from her son. He said, Mom, are you in Texas? I said, I'm in Dallas, why? He said, oh, there was a shooting at the airport and I knew you were leaving today. And I said, when was this? And when he told me what time, I said, we literally just got out of there when that happened. If anything else would have happened, if our plane would have not gone out or we had to wait for another one, we would have, I would have still been there. Well, taking a closer look here, we asked Austin police about security here at ABIA. They tell us 40 officers are assigned to the airport. They could not say how many are working at any given time for security reasons. APD says they attend active shooter training periodically. We also learned that the shooting in Fort Lauderdale happened in the baggage claim area. Keep in mind, especially here at ABIA, even there is no security to get to uh, baggage claim. You can just go if you're picking up a loved one. You can just go there. You do not have to go through any sort of TSA checkpoint to get there. We also learned uh, that the shooter reportedly had the gun in his checked baggage, which made us wonder, what are the rules with this? Can you fly with the gun? And if so, what are the rules surrounding that? I'm going to talk about that all new coming up at six. For now, Shannon, I'll send it back to you. Alicia, thank you. The last time a shooting unfolded at a major U.S. airport was in 2013 in Los Angeles. In November of that year, Raul Ciancia opened fire inside the terminal with an assault rifle. He killed a TSA officer at point-blank range and injured several others. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole.